The South China Sea is the most controversial water. Claimed by China, Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, and last but not least, Taiwan. Taiwan is also claimant of the South China Sea. Not one or two islands, but the whole South China Sea, just like mainland China. This is a set of line segments that complete the territorial claim of People's Republic of China in South China Sea, the famous Nine Dash Line. But it's not drawn by the People's Republic of China. The Chinese Communist government established in 1949, but originally from the Republic of China. The regime, led by Kuomintang the nationalist, that retreated to Taiwan in 1949 after the Chinese Civil War and currently is governing Taiwan. During the Second World War. The South China Sea was controlled by Japan and also surrounding countries, which were colonized by Britain, France, and the Netherlands. After Japan's defeat, Western colonizers returned and fought with the locals who wanted independence. This is a map published by U.S. Department of State in 1947 about world non-self-governing territories. Vietnam was part of Indochina, colonized by France. Malaysia was still Malaya Union, controlled by Britain colonizers. And Indonesia was under Netherlands attack. On December 1946, Chinese Navy, having just received several ships and trained crews from the United States, dispatched two vessels to South China Sea. This is the new location map of the South China Sea islands, published by Republic of China in 1947. It renamed over 170 islands and islets in South China Sea and used the 11 dash line. Which reaches down to the eastern side of South China Sea from Taiwan to the coast of Borneo, and then to the Gulf of Tonkin in a great U shape. At that time, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei were still under fight with French, British, and Dutch colonizers, and they didn't oppose the 11 dash line drawn by China. Or more precisely, they didn't have the capacity to oppose it. However, the Philippines was a special case. After the Second World War in 1946, the Philippines, which had long been colonized by United States and Japan, gained independence and established the Republic of Philippines. The independent Philippine government wanted to claim a major part of its territories, but seems to have been discouraged by American advice. The United States didn't want to bring conflict with the Chinese government, Republic China, led by nationalist Chiang Kai-shek. Following the Chinese Communist Party's victory over the nationalists and the establishment of People's Republic of China in 1949, the new Chinese government inherited the 11 dash line in South China Sea. In 1953, the People's Republic of China dropped its claim in the Gulf of Tonkin, also called the Beibu Gulf, between China and Vietnam. A special favor to brother communist North Vietnam, revising the 11 dash line to 9 dash line. After 1949. The nationalists retreated to Taiwan, and also the rest of regime of the Republic of China. They withdrew their soldiers from South China Sea Islands. It wasn't until June 1952 the Republic of China on Taiwan reoccupied Taiping Island, the largest of Spratly Island. So, does the Republic of China on Taiwan only govern Taiwan Island and affiliated islands? On the Republic of China official website, it writes. The government of Republic China, which has jurisdiction over Taiwan, its affiliated islands, and Warsaw Island in South China Sea, on its map, it still uses the 11 dash line from 1947 to mark its territorial claim in South China Sea. But why does Taiwan claim the entire South China Sea, despite controlling only one island? Of course, any surrender of territorial sovereignty by the government would be a political suicide. However, for Taiwan. The situation is more complex. This is Constitution of Republic of China since 1947. The fourth article writes: The territory of Republic China, defined by its existing national boundaries, should not be changed except by resolution of National Assembly. This is territorial map of Republic China from 1979 National Assembly. It not only includes Taiwan Islands, but also mainland China and Outer Mongolia. In 2005, Taiwan published its official annual. It wrote, "The Republic of China is located in the Central and Southeastern Asia, bordered to the east by Pacific Ocean and to the west by Pamir. It shares borders with Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, and the Indo-Chinese Peninsula to the south, and adjoins Serbia to the north. It's the largest country in Asia and the second largest in the world." 
Of course, a constitution on paper can change the actual land of Republic China on Taiwan, but attempting to amend this constitution can be very dangerous. In 2005, the Republic China officially passed its seventh constitution amendment, which included abolishing the National Assembly and altering the constitution procedure for territorial changes. That same year, the mainland China government enacted the anti secession law, marking the first legal provision for the possibility of using force to reunify Taiwan. The current ROC government on Taiwan has abandoned its claim of mainland China and of course out of Mongolia, and only insists on Taiwan Island and surrounding islands, although the South China Sea is still included, but is not Taiwan's top priority anymore. In contrast to previous leaders who visited the only South China Sea island controlled by Taiwan on multiple occasions, the current leader has never set foot on Taiping Island since 2016, when she was elected as president of ROC. In this South China Sea dispute, Taiwan is an overlooked but significant side. The Republic of China regime in Taiwan is not only the region of Nine Dash Line, but also hold relevant historical documents and interpretative authority, and it also involved in the sovereignty disputes with mainland China. Taiwan is also unwilling to cooperate with mainland China government in asserting claims over South China Sea, and is downplaying its role in South China Sea conflict and emphasizing regional cooperation. How to manage the South China Sea of approximately 3.5 million square kilometers located at the center of Eastern Asia among the crowded neighboring countries is a big challenge. Especially when this South China Sea dispute mixed with Taiwan issue, it turns into a powder keg in East Asia. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video and see you next time.